everyone, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today to plan out the monthly spread for February 2021 in my catch-all planner. So I use this planner as like the dummy ground for like everything that goes on in my family. Um, I do have other planners for other things and other notepads and everything. Um, so like to help me plan out more in depth other aspects of my life but like anything major for them that can affect the household as a whole I do put in this planner as well. Um, now the monthly spread I actually use it to help me plan out the weekly spreads because I use my weekly spreads on a day-to-day -day basis and I pretty much only reference this on the days where I'm sitting down planning out my weeks or I have something to put in here so it doesn't get lost. So I have a post-it note and I used the, so this is a vellum post-it note from Simply Gilded and I used one of her gel pens on it. It didn't write the best but I mean it worked. So I'm gonna put that off to the side. So I have a couple of dentist appointments to mark down and it is Valentine's Day this month and I'm not decorating this for Valentine's Day. Um. I just don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm not inspired to do Valentine's Day. I'm going to be using the Cozy Comforts, Northern Comforts. Why did I say Cozy Comfort? I don't know. That must be something else. The Northern Comfort sub box from Simply Gelded. I still have the sticker kit that came with it. And it was only a two page kit and there's only three full boxes. So I'm going to try to go ahead and use them. So this, this should be fun. Um, Let's see, I think what I'm going to do to get started, I don't know what I'm doing, so. Um, so I definitely want to use these two boxes and I want to use the deco that was included as well. So I'm going to be putting, I'm gonna put this, and this is like cardstock stickers. I've actually never used, oh, it's cut all the way through. Um, I've never used these stickers from her, I don't think. I think I started using her sticker kits once she started putting them on the matte paper instead of this cardstock sticker paper. Um, they're not perfectly sized, this one either. The other ones I know were a little bit smaller than um, a standard vertical planner column, but it's fine. I know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to put this one up top and it is going to be dipping down into that date and I'm okay with that. I do have something to put over there though, <laughs> but that's okay. I just felt like putting that there. And then I'm going to take Jasper and I'm going to put him here because these dates are not actually part of the month of February so I can kind of kind of have a little fun we'll stick him right here oh that's so cute I don't have anything for the 11th right no I probably should have checked that before I started just randomly sticking things down let's put this little horse over here and this cute little bunny because she looks really adorable and we'll put some hot cocoa over here and we'll put it here it's kind of going into the 14th but that's fine it's not that big of a deal put this over here on the second and the third i never decorate like this it's kind of fun we have fish. Okay, we've got some fish. We'll put a fishy over here. I've got another fish. Let's see. Put it. We'll put it over here. That works. And then we've got a bunch of little stars. Oh, oh, there's actually some some like snowflakes too. Come on. Oh. All right. I'll come back to the deco. Let's get the appointments down. On the 16th and the 17th. It's fine. Alright, so I'm going to use the oh, darker one on the 16th. Hold on. Let's 
turn it upside down so I can actually see what I'm doing because I put it down over on that side and I covered up the 16th and that's not good. We'll go with the pink. But this I'm actually going to line it up with that one so that they are even. There we go. So we've got two dentist appointments. And let's see. Oh wait, no, I want to lift this one up. There is something that I am going to want to mark down. I'll put it over here on the 6th. I thought I had printed a Valentine's Day sticker for me and then a half price chocolate day. But I don't think I did. Alright, so we're going to go with this gray simplistic quarter box and there is a celebrate sticker so we're going to use the celebrate sticker to mark off that it is valentine's day and i'll just write valentine's day then this sticker is actually <laughs> Um, it's actually going to be to mark off that this is the Daytona 500. I'm so excited that NASCAR is going to be back. Never, ever in my life ever thought that I would say that, that I was excited for NASCAR to come back. But here I am. We'll put a little flag over here too, because why not? So yeah, so NASCAR is coming back on Valentine's Day. I can't wait to watch. Um, and then let's see which one of these would be good for the Super Bowl. Yeah, we'll just go with this star flag because the Super Bowl it it's all interlocked together. There we go. The Super Bowl is Sunday, the seventh. So we've got that. And then I'm going to use another one of the quarter boxes. So these are, I don't even know if I said this already. These are from my shop. It is coffeeplannermom.com. Um, the 25th is actually my father-in-law's birthday. So I need to make sure that I remember to mark that off. And we're going to use this birthday script sticker from my shop. And just stick that right here at the top. Oh, I think I have a cute sticker too. Yep, I'm going to use one of these little Jolene stickers from Lil Annabelle's Plants. Her shop's no longer open, but the stickers are really adorable. So I'm going to just go ahead. That looks good. Oh, that reminds me I need another script. All right, so I actually need to make sure that I change out my contacts. Let's see. Let's, okay, so I don't want to use a five millimeter. And hmm, if I go with that one, I could probably use a 10 millimeter. So yeah, let's just do that. <sighs> trying to think because like I just got brand new glasses in and I have been wearing them for a couple of days just so that my eyes can get adjusted to them. So my the day that I change my contacts is supposed to be the 16th. But I'm going to put it on, maybe I should use the pink. Yeah, let me use the pink because I got that like slate gray. So I don't want to use the slate blue right there. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is that I've got, yeah, because then that's going to be a payday. And then that's going to be payday. Okay, yeah. And I'll use blues for those. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying, I'm going to put this further up and overextend it. So... I've been wearing my my brand new glasses for a few days now just to try and get my eyes used to them. Oh my God, I, I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I have not gotten new glasses, like a new prescription, since I was pregnant with my daughter. She turns 13 next month. Um, I, I don't think I've gotten my prescription changes then but the thing is the reason why is like every year you can either get a new glasses prescription or you can update your contacts and I wear contacts so I've been getting my contact prescription updated at like regularly 
but I've been neglecting my glasses and I just really wanted to get new glasses this time. So I do have new contacts too, but uh, it's taking a lot for me to get used to my new glasses. So I'm trying to wear them quite a bit. So all that to say, normally I change them, change my contacts on the 15th, but to kind of adjust for the extra days of not wearing them, I'm going to change them out on the 18th. Yeah, that's good. And then, like I said, I want to mark off paydays. So I do have other things that I need to put down, but I'm going to put them over here in the sidebar. Okay. I had to like actually stop and look at what I was doing because like I couldn't remember. So let's see. I think, yeah, I think I am just going to go ahead and put it up here. I love this, um, the colors of this sub box. So I think it's funny that I've, like, I've used the washi from this quite a bit. I've just never actually used the stuff from the sub box. So I've got that down. So I'm going to use a payday sticker from my shop. And I'm going to keep using the brush script. So these were actually test sheets that I had made when I was like kind of getting the hang of the cutting machine. So these are actually on the payday stickers are actually on a different sticker paper than what I have in my shop currently. So they don't stick particularly well to the washi tape, but I'm gonna force it anyway. The change contacts, that is the right sticker paper, and I guess I could've used the other one. Oh well, whatever, I've already got the one down, so I'm just gonna keep going with this. Oh. Um, but yeah, so that's that one sticks really well. These, as you can see, they are like, no, I don't wanna stick. All right, so over here, let me use a header some sort okay so we have three of all of the same things over here so i think i'll actually pull from here all right i'm going to use the pink remember because this is going to sound funny but because i have a lot of pink in the sidebar as it is <laughs> so the reason why i'm going to keep using the pink though is because i'm going to use the gray the slate gray bullets from the simplistic colorway so these are things that happen every week, same same date, same time. Everything is the same. Yeah, I'll skip a line to put this here. So we're going to have guitar, trash, and movie night. Yeah. Nice and simple. And then I'm just going to get a little extra deco down. We're going to put some of this washi at the bottom and I am going to overextend it because like it's pretty rough on the edge so and by rough on the edge I mean like it wasn't stuck to the roll and it is not sticky at all so I'm trying to make sure that I pull that off like entirely and there are two ways that you can cut your washi tape you can use a blade and slice it like I'm using. And then I have this card. 2X has a straight edge. Man, I think I'm like hitting a wall now. I am I'm a little tired, but like kind of rallied. I'm like, hey, I've got energy to film. And I, I think that I just felt myself hit a wall. Um, I don't even know what I was saying before that happened. I just kind of felt like does that ever happen to you where like you just kind of feel like you can feel that all of the energy that you had left just immediately has been drained from you? Because that's what happened. I could like feel that I got drained. I'm pretty sure I heard my husband making some coffee. So maybe that'll help me. 
but I highly doubt it. I mentioned in my catch-all, my, like my weekly planner video, because I just filmed that and then I moved to this one, um, that yesterday I had four cups of coffee. It was three regular cups of coffee and a cup of a, a latte, a chai latte, I mean. But yeah, I'm... Whew. I think I'm going to add in a little bit of the gray. I'd be lying if I said that I knew what I was doing at the moment. I'm just kind of winging it, trying to just have some fun. Ooh, wait a second. Let's use the shooting stars. We'll put this down first. Then we will put the uh, 15 millimeter down. All right, don't ask me what I did because I don't even know. <laughs> um, I just started ripping washi tape and laying it down and layering and things escalated really quickly. So it's okay. I actually, I mean, like, it's February, so I have a lot of space here, even if it doesn't look like it, because like none of these are days of the week or days of the month. They are because February ends here. So I had a lot of space that I could play around with. We'll see if I like it or not. Um, I don't normally do a ton of decorating for my monthly spread, so this is completely out of character for me, but I was just having fun playing with washi tape. Really is what it came down to. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram over there. I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you all later.